Hi everyone, my name is Ravi Prakash and this is the uh, inequalities continued, right? So from the previous video, we'll be discussing this concept here. So this is a question, if a plus b plus c equal to 30, find the minimum and maximum value of following, right? That is, in all the questions, I have to find the minimum and maximum value of a into b into c, of a into b into c, but with given conditions, right? What is conditions given? A into B into C, nothing is given about A, B, C. They are positive numbers, they are negative numbers, they are real numbers, right? Okay, in second question, A into B into C, if A, B, C are positive real numbers, in this case, okay, fine now. Third case, A, B, C, if A, B, C are uh, distinct natural numbers, so A into B into C with their distinct natural numbers, right? So, this will give you a bit of conceptual clarity, right? C. So, if A plus B plus C equal to 30, what is the min min minimum value of A into B into C? C. If nothing is given, so what maximum value of a into b into c and minimum value of a into b into c will be minus infinity and plus infinity minus infinity and plus infinity right why so see when there is no constraint right what will minimum value so minimum value can be no constraint so let's say a can be one crore okay b can be one crore as a value and c can be a uh, minus of one crore 99 lakhs, 99,970. This kind of number, right? There's no constraint on ABC. So, A plus B plus C will give you obviously 30, right? But what is A into B into C? So, you can assume this number, right? 1 crore into 1 crore into minus almost 1 crore, right? So, it is like minus infinity. And I'm taking 1 crore, I can take 10, 10 crore also, 10 crore also, 10 crore, 10 crore and C is 9 crore 99 lakhs kind of number, right? Where A plus B plus C is 30. So with minus sign. So obviously there's no limit to it. That's why I've written it as minus infinity. Now positive, it can be positive infinity also. How about positive infinity? Again, assume some big number, right? Assume some big number. So let's say A can be, now maximum uh, can be with two negative signs, okay? So let's say A can be 10 crore. Uh, B can be minus 5 crore and C can be minus of 4 crore 99 lakhs 99,970 this kind of number. So if you see A plus B plus C here again result is 30 but what is A into B into C? Infinity. This is positive infinity because it is 2 minus sign. 2 minus sign is so a positive infinity right. So that's why when nothing is given in this case so A into B into C was A into B into C is minimum value minus infinity maximum value plus infinity right. So second one now. Now A, B, C, if A, B, C are uh, A into B into C, now A, B, C are positive real numbers, right? Now they are positive real numbers. For positive real numbers, what is the maximum? First we'll calculate the maximum value. Sum is constant, product is maximum, maximum. Okay, so sum is constant, product is maximum when numbers are equal, right? When numbers are equal or as close as possible. So numbers can be equal here. 30 is a number. So A, B, C can be 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. So the maximum value of A into B into C, 10 into 10 into 10. That is 1000. What is the minimum value now? See, minimum value here will be tending to zero. I'm not, I can't say exact zero because all are positive real numbers, but tending to zero. Tending to zero means, tending to zero means almost zero. For example, in this case, for calculating minimum value, again, value should be as far as possible. Right, and they are positive real numbers here. So, suppose I can take A as 29.999999. Right, and let's say uh, uh, B as something like uh, 0 0.000000. Right, so you can understand here, right, this kind of ABC a, value have got no limit. This B can be 0 0.000000001. Right, can be 100 times also. So, almost zero. So when you multiply A, B and C, some value of C also, right? In that case, it is almost zero. So almost zero means that's why we, that's why we written tending to zero. And what is the minimum value? Tending to zero. Almost zero, but not exactly zero, right? And what is the maximum value? Thousand. Okay. So third one now, A into B into C. If A, B, C are distinct natural numbers. Now A, B, C are distinct natural numbers. Again, funda is same. For maximum, sum is constant, product is maximum. When numbers are equal or as close as possible. So they can be equal at 10, 10, 10. But since they are distinct natural numbers, 
so I can't take the value as 10, 10, 10. So next closest value I can take as A as 9, B as 10, and C as 11. Right, next closest possible values, right? A is 9, B as 10, and C as 11. So what is A into B into C here? 9 into 10 into 11. That is 990. This, the, this, could, this could be the maximum value. Distinct natural numbers, right? So distinct natural numbers means they can be as close as possible or equal. But since they are distinct natural numbers, they can't be equal. So as close as possible. So 30 divided in three parts as close as possible. 9, 10, and 11, right? What could be the minimum value in this case? So minimum value in this case could be how much? Now, again, for minimum value, it's just reverse of it, right? As value should be as far as possible. So obviously I can take one for uh, smallest natural number is A equal to one, right? Now, since I have to minimize the product, right? So I can, I can take B as two also, two of the minimum of two of the lowest natural number possible, right? Now, since A plus B plus C is 30, so A is 1, B is 2. What is C now? C could be 27. So if C is 27, so A plus B plus is 30. What is A into B into C now? 1 into 2 into 27, that is 54. This answer, right? So what is the minimum value of A into B into C? If A, B, C are distinct natural numbers, 54. What is the maximum value of A into B into C? If A, B, C are distinct natural numbers, 990. 990, right? So a bit of conceptual clarity will get through these questions. Okay important one right important one now let's discuss a very, very good question real good question a into b into c into d is equal to 10 factorial okay a b c d are natural numbers natural numbers right so question is what is the minimum value of minimum value of a plus b plus c plus d this is a question a super question it is super question right if you want to try we try pause the video for five minutes and try this question right we'll solve now see again in this question funda is same product is constant a into b into c into d product is constant some 10 factorial so sub product is constant some will be minimum when numbers are equal or as close as possible when numbers are equal or as close as possible right so since 10 factorial is such a big number, so I can't assume what is that when numbers are, what is that number's close value possible, right? Suppose the question was, for same question was for A into B into C is equal to, let's say, uh, 504. Huh? What is the minimum value of A plus B plus C? So in this case, I can solve, right? I know that product is constant. So some will be minimum when numbers are equal or as close as possible. So when A, B, and C are natural numbers, so you'll see that 7 into 8 into 9 will satisfy. When A, B, C are natural numbers, right? So 7, 8, and 9. So what is the answer? 7 plus 8 plus 9. So that is equal to 24. So in this case, I can think a bit because 504 is a number within our, within our thinking range, right? What is 504? Okay, so 504 in three parts. What is cube root of 504? If all, but what to assume, right? What is the so thought process? So if all three are equal. So if all three are equal, so a cube is equal to 504. So a is a cube root of 504, that is around 8. So we have to think for three numbers around 8, right? Around 8. So 7, 8 and 9 will satisfy, right? So if you get this part, this is around 8, right? This is around 8 when all three are equal. Then you can solve this question, right? Same goes for now this question. Same goes for now this question, right? So we have, we'll assume all to be equal and we'll see it is around which number. It is around which number. Okay, so let's solve. So just think of this number when all the numbers are equal. Right? We have to assume like this number when all the numbers are equal. When all the numbers are equal. Thought process, right? When all are equal. So suppose when A equal to B is equal to C is equal to D, then A raised to 4 is equal to 10 factorial. Therefore, A is equal to what is the what is 10 factorial uh, uh, in factorization form you have solve it 2 will be 8 times 3 will be 4 times 5 is square and 7 raised to 1 this is 10 factorial right raised to 1 by 4 this power 4 will come this side raised to 1 by 4 power right so it becomes therefore a is equal to now 2 is square into 3 into 5 raised to half into 7 raised to 
वन बाई फोर इंटू सेवन रेज टू वन बाई फोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट राइट ना आई टू जस्ट अप्रोक्सीमेट वॉट इज द अप्रोक्सीमेट वैल्यू ऑफ एयर वॉट इज द अप्रोक्सीमेट वैल्यू ऑफ एयर ओके सो फोर इंटू थ्री ओके ट्वेल्व ना वट इज रूट फाइव ना विल सी आई वे डिस्कस दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन स्पीड मैथ्स ऑल्सो राइट आई डिस्कस हेयर ऑल्सो हाउ टू गेट ए वैल्यू ऑफ रूट फाइव राइट वट इज यर सेवन रेज टू वन बाई फोर सो इट इज सेवन रेज टू वन बाई फोर मीन्स वॉट इट इज लाइक अंडर रूट सेवन एंड अगेन अंडर रूट सेवन राइट सो फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग रूट फाइव वे डिस्कस दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन स्पीड मैथ्स जस्ट अस्यूम जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई फाइव विथ हंड्रेड इन साइड एंड डिवाइड बाई टेन राइट फाइव वट इज हंड्रेड इन साइड हंड्रेड वट इज रूट हंड्रेड टेन 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 विल कैंसिल तो इट बिकम्स रूट फाइव ऑल राइट इट डजेंट मेक एनी डिफरेंस बट इट इज इट इट मेक्स आवर प्रोसेस इजी तो वट इज रूट फाइव वट इज रूट फाइव हंड्रेड नाउ सो रूट फाइव हंड्रेड बाई टेन एंड डू इट इजली राइट वट इज रूट फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री स्क्वायर इज फाइव ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी टू स्क्वायर इज फाइव फोर ट्वेंट फोर एटी फोर सो इट इज समवेयर बिटवीन ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री सो इट इज बिटवीन ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एज यू टू बी ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव सपोज डिवाइड बाई टेन इट इज अराउंड टू पॉइंट टू फाइव इट्स अराउंड टू पॉइंट टू फाइव ओके ना सिमिलरली वट इज रूट सेवन सो फर्स्ट आर कैलकुलेट वट इज रूट सेवन राइट सो वट इज रूट सेवन अगेन सेम थिंग रूट सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई टेन रूट हंड्रेड इज टेन 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 विल कैंसिल वोट मेक एनी डिफरेंस वट इज रूट सेवन नाउ सो वट इज रूट सेवन हंड्रेड नाउ सो रूट सेवन हंड्रेड इज वॉट अगेन इज वॉट सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्क्वायर इज सिक्स सेवेंटी सिक्स ओके ट्वेंटी सेवन स्क्वायर इज सेवन ट्वेंटी नाइन ओके इट लाइज बिटवीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन रूट सेवन हंड्रेड दैट इज लेट इट बी एट ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव बाई टेन इट इज अराउंड वॉट टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव राइट बट यू टू अगेन कैलकुलेट बिकॉज वट इज वेव टू कैलकुलेट सेवन रेज टू वन बाई फोर सो हैव टू अगेन कैलकुलेट वन मोर टाइम स्क्वायर रूट राइट टू हैव टू कैलकुलेट ए स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स फाइव ओके अगेन हैव टू प्रूव राइट इट इज सेवन रेज टू वन बाई टू वी गॉट टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव बट बट वेव टू कैलकुलेट सेवन रेज टू वन बाई फोर सो डबल स्क्वायर रूट राइट सेवन रेज टू हाफ इन टू हाफ इज वन बाई फोर सो डबल स्क्वायर रूट सो अगेन विद स्क्वायर रूट टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव सो टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव स्क्वायर रूट अगेन सेम फंडा मल्टीप्लाई टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव बाई हंड्रेड इन साइड द ब्रैकेट सो मल्टीप्लाई टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव बाई हंड्रेड इन साइड द ब्रैकेट एंड डिवाइड बाई टेन इट बिकम्स रूट टू सिक्सटी फाइव बाई टेन वट इज रूट टू सिक्सटी फाइव सिक्सटीन स्क्वायर इज टू फिफ्टी सिक्स सिक्सटीन स्क्वायर इज टू फिफ्टी सिक्स इट्स अराउंड सिक्सटीन ओनली और सिक्सटीन पॉइंट वन सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू एनी अप्रोक्सीमेशन यू कैन टेक राइट इट्स अराउंड लेट्स सिक्सटीन सो सिक्सटीन बाई टेन लेट्स अराउंड वन पॉइंट सिक्स This kind of number, right? I can assume. So one point six. So what is the value now? So see, values becomes two is square into is into three is twelve. Five raised to half is what? Two point two five. And what is seven raised to one by four? So seven raised to one by four is what? Seven raised to one by four is what? One point six. Seven raised to one by four is what? One point six into one point six. What is the value now? So value is twelve into two twenty four into point two five. So point two five means what? It is one by four. So twelve into two twenty four, and then twelve one by four is three. Point two five is one by three. It is uh, one by four. It is three. So twelve into two twenty four, and for point two five one by four of twelve that is three. Twenty four plus three twenty seven. Twenty seven into one point six. Okay. Twenty seven into one is twenty seven plus twenty seven into six is what? One sixty two. That is sixteen point two. So it's around forty three point two. Right. Now this is what we have required. A very important thing we have derived with lots of concept and uh, mind, uh, mind after puzzling or mind right after all this concept that if all four numbers are equal, if all four numbers uh, numbers are equal, then a into b into c into d is what? Then is equal to a raised to four. If a raised to four is ten factorial, this is the Prime factorization of ten factorial. We we have discussed this kind of question so many times in factorial chapter, right? So two raised to eight into three raised to four into five squared into seven raised to one is raised to one by four. It becomes so multiplying open opening of the bracket multiplying every term by one by four. It becomes two square three five raised to half into seven raised to one by four. Twelve into what is root five? Root five is two point two five, and into one point six it becomes what? 
what is 1 by 1 by 6? 7 raised to 1 by 4. 7 raised to 1 by 4. Okay. We write here 7 raised to 1 by 4. Should not have any confusion. This is a very good question. Okay. So it is 43.2. It's around 43.2, right? That means I have to think for all the numbers in and around 43. All the four numbers will be right. Sum is sum is a constant. Product is sorry, product is a constant. Sum is minimum when numbers are equal or as close as possible. So I have to so when all are equal, number is 43.2 or around, right? But since all are natural numbers, so all number has to be in and around 43. In and around 43 now. We have to think, right? Now how to think now? Next step. Let me have all these three. Just get this concept. Don't miss a single concept. Don't miss a single concept. Super concept we'll discuss, right? We'll be very good at this aptitude things. Thinking. Good IQ level. Everything will be good. Right. Okay. Now, around 43.2, right? So again, how to think now? You see. How to think basically. So now A into B into C into D is equal to. Okay. Is equal to. Now see. If I if if I ex, ex, expand this bracket here, sorry, if I expand this bracket here, so a into b into c into d is equal to two raised to eight. So two into 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 two. Right. Let me write first time. You understand? Then you don't need to write after that. Right. So this is like five eight twos into three into three into three into three into 5 into 5 into 7 into 7 right now i know that among these numbers some number are a some number are b some number are c and some are d among these number only right we we'll pick up a b c d from here such that all are around 43 all are around a b c d are around 43 right so see here now if this is 7 this is 7 right so you take 1 7 so around multiple of uh, 7 around 43 is 42. So how to pick 7? So 1, 7 and 7 into 6 will give me 42. It will reach, it will reach around 43. So 7 into 6 will be 42. So 1, 7, 1, 3 and 1, 2. Gone. Right. So we got A is equal to, we got A is equal to 7 into 3 into 2. That is 42. Okay. Come for B now. Come for B. Take a multiple of 5. So there are two fives here. There are two fives, right? So a multiple of five around 43. Let's say 45. So for 45, what we need to do? One five and five into nine. So five into nine. Five into nine. That means two threes. So five into nine will give me 45. So let's say B is equal to B is equal to five into three into three. That is 45. Okay. Now come C. Okay, now come C. C is equal to. Notice C is equal to. Now, one more 5 is left here, right? So, again, a multiple of uh, uh, 5 around 43. Okay, so it can be another 45, but we are not left with two threes here, right? We are left with only one 3 here. That means I can't take 45. So, next multiple of 5 around 43 is what? 40. Around 43 is 40, right? So, 40. So, how to take 40? So, 1, 5, 1, 3. 5, uh, sorry, not 3, I'm sorry. How to take 40? 1, 5 and 3, 2's. And 3, 2's. 1, 2 and 3. So what is 40 now? So for C, okay, for C, it is like 5 into 2 into 2 into 2, it is 40. So whatever is left, that will be the value of, that will be the value of D. Whatever left, that will be value of D. What is it for D now? 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is what? 16. 16 into 3 is what? 48. So D is what? 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. That is 48. Right. 48. So what is the answer here? What is the answer? So what is the, all numbers are in and around 43? Right. We have, we have taken care of this. Uh, at the most important thing is that number should be as close as possible and around, around 43. Okay. What is the answer now? So A plus B plus C plus D minimum value will be 42 plus 45 plus 40 plus 48. That is equal to 175. So 175 is the answer. Okay. So 175 is the answer for this.
very very fine question right this kind of question build your concepts and iq level right so practice this kind of questions okay okay next one now next one one more similar good question we'll do it's like 6 minus a into 6 minus b into 6 minus c into 6 minus d is equal to 45 is equal to 45 okay so what is the if a b c d are a b c d are distinct natural numbers are distinct natural numbers okay then first question what is a plus b plus c plus d minimum value and second question what is a plus b plus c plus d maximum value again a beautiful question this is right i have created this question with the concept of dice As you see in a permutation combination chapter we have discussed concept of reverse right reversing of dice how to go for about four dice are thrown how to get sum of 20 that reverse concept right sum of five digit number is 43 how to reverse it right so from that concept i have taken this question very nice question it is right check, check your thinking level pause this video for five minutes and please try okay we will solve this question now see six minus a into six minus b into six minus c into six minus d is equal to 45. now since a b c d are distinct natural numbers that means a b c d can't be negative we have to take very utmost care of this that a b c d can't be negative right so when factorizing 45 into four distinct because all have to be distinct right for distinct natural numbers this all four should be distinct so for doing for distinct numbers right doing for distinct numbers we have to take we have to take care that a should not be minus one right that means a should not be zero also so a b c d cannot be zero so constraint is a b c d cannot be equal to zero and and a b c d cannot be negative also so for that a cannot be a cannot this number six minus a if six minus a equal to zero that means this number is six if a is equal a is equal to zero then this number is six which is not possible if a equal to minus one this number is seven not possible right that means i don't have to go beyond for any of the for factorization for factorization we don't have to put don't have to put any number don't put any number beyond beyond five we can't put six seven and eight off because if i put six seven eight a b c d will be negative or zero because but it is not possible because a b c d are distinct natural numbers okay so don't put any number beyond five here okay now for again for minimum okay you have to find the minimum value what is the minimum value numbers will be equal or as close as possible right for minimum value numbers will be equal or as close as possible i mean wrong or right for maximum value for minimum value sim read like product is constant right so sum is minimum when numbers are equal or as close as possible as simple thing right so try to get the number for minimum value try to get the number as minimum uh, for minimum value or as close as possible right so see for 45 now it is factorization of 45 here so 45 is nothing but uh, if you take the factors out 1 3 5 9 15 45 these are the factors of 45 okay so but i uh, but uh, i cannot put any i cannot put any uh, numbers beyond 5 here that means i can't put 9 15 and 45 i can't put 9 15 and 45 right so only 1 3 and 5 are left so if for positive 1 3 and 5 are left but we require but we require at least four numbers here i require at least four numbers here, right there's no fourth factor of 45 huh? and i can't use three again because two numbers will be same then a and b will have same value but a b c d are distinct natural numbers that means if positive case doesn't satisfy right that means there has to be negative also and since whole result is positive that means it should be two negative it should be two negative and two positive values right 
this is the thinking process two negative and two positive values okay now so and they have to be they have to be equal or as close as possible right they can't be equal so you have to, you have to keep it as close as possible right so i can keep like among one three one three five and its negative values are what minus one minus three minus five so for keeping as close as possible what we can keep is minus one i can take i can take minus three i can take three i can take five right then these values will be, uh, this this product will be 45 and values are as close as possible right you see here so in this case what is the value of a so value of a is if 6 minus a is minus 1 so a equal to 7 if 6 minus b is minus 3 a is equal to sorry b is equal to 9 b is equal to uh, yeah 9 if 6 minus c is uh, 3 then c equal to 3 and if 6 minus d is 5 so d is equal to 1 so what is the minimum value they should get the minimum value so a plus b plus c plus d the minimum value will be how much 7 plus 9 plus 3 plus 1 that is 20 so 20 is the answer this is the minimum value of a plus b plus c plus d you can check for any other values it won't satisfy right and why to check the constant is same right product, product, product is constant sum is minimum when sum is minimum, minimum when numbers are equal or as close as possible. Since they are distinct natural numbers, they can't be equal. So keep them as close as possible. Right. So minus one, minus three, three and five. Two negative because I can't put any I can't can't put any number beyond five. So these factors are gone. Only three distinct numbers are here, but I require four distinct numbers here. One, two, three, four. That means I have to use negative also. And since whole result is, result is positive. It has to be two negative and two positive. So a plus b plus c plus d minimum value is what it is 20. Now for maximum value, for maximum value, I'll keep the numbers as far as possible, right? So for as far as possible, so what I can do is now you have to uh, take some two negative values and two positive values, right? So two negative, two positive. So you can take the number as suppose one number I take it as uh, minus one. Okay. Other number I take it as one other number I take it as minus 3 so result now is a 3 and other number I can take as 15 to get the number as far as possible right so get the number as far as possible but again I don't have to put any number beyond 5 so I can't put 6 minus d as 15 right that means for farthest number it has to be like it can be minus 15 so if it is minus 15 okay so it has to be like 3 Number so this is a, some adjustment you need to make, right? This is this is like questions on cat and z, purely aptitude thing, right? So see minus one, one, three, and minus fifteen. I hope it is fine, right? This should this, uh, this should give me the uh, product as uh, forty five, okay? And numbers are very far as far as possible, right? So for far possible, I've used fifteen here. So what is the number here? So if six minus a is equal to minus one, that means a is equal to 7 here if 6 minus b equal to 1 b equal to 5 if 6 minus c equal to 3 right c equal to uh sorry c is equal to 3 and if 6 minus d is minus 15 okay so d has to be what d has to be like 21 20 okay so what is a plus b plus c plus d here so a plus b plus c plus d the maximum value will be 7 plus 5, 12 plus 3, 15 plus 21, 36. So 36 is the answer for another super question we have discussed. Okay, so this is like two very good question examples, right? How the questions come in cat and zat, right? And what could be the tough level of cat cat and zat, right? Your mind needs to think in this way. No formulae, nothing. Basic rules, right? Observation and pure aptitude. Okay. So we'll discuss more concepts in the next video. Thank you.